taking the role of a three project factor of Paul and Shelly. Once upon a time, in a senior village, there lived a little girl named Ashley. She belongs to a rich family. As they grew older, they fell deeply in love with each other. They could not tell anyone about their feelings because their parents would not approve of their relationship. Pro will often think to himself, though Nishili and I love each other, and I want to ask for Nishili hand in marriage. I am from a poor family, so her parents would not approve of our marriage. He could not share his grief with anybody. What he feared will surely come true one day. He lived in fear of Nishili parents rejecting his proposal. One night, when they secretly meet each other, they all come up with a plan. They were determined to keep their love alive. He said, I'm sure tonight when everyone is asleep, I will come and gently knock at your bedroom door. Will you get all your things and be willing to follow me wherever I go? To then, Nishali said yes. So he told her, All right, then get out all your important things and get everything ready before we sleep tonight. Saying that, he left. Little did they know that a sneaky old wicked man named Kutupa was listening to the conversation. That night, Kutupa went to Nishili door. He made sure to dress like Pio and tap on Nishili door, just like Pio was supposed to do. That it was her lover, Pio. Nishili gathered all her belongings and happily went out. Kutitapa did not utter a single word and took hold of her hand, pulling her in a hurry gesture and left. She followed him up and down the hills, thinking it was her lover. They traveled a long distance. Nishili was tired, thinking it was Pio, she said. Let us make a bowl. Let us make a small bonfire. We will warm ourselves and continue on our journey. But Kutupa did not want to stop until they had passed the water of the village. So he simply replied, Wait and carries on walking. Initially got little suspicious because he did not sound anything like Pio and got little scared, but still continued to follow him. Once they had crossed the village border and walked deep into the forest, morning came and it was bright. Nishili immediately realized and recognized that it was not her lover Pio but Kutupa. She had been following all this time Kutupa. Kutupa tried to convince Nishili. Marry me, he said. I will keep you very happy but Nishili refused his proposal. She started crying uncontrollable. Kutupa tried his best to console her, but failed. Kutupa got furious. He forcefully pulled Nishali and tied her to the tree, killing her with a bow. Kutupa had back to the village. Nishali blood falls on the tree to which she was tied. Surprisingly, a red beautiful flower grew from her blood. It became a symbol of her sad story.
one fine day, Pio went hunting with his friends in the wild. They took them to the place where Michelle was murdered. From the rain. His friends tried to stand under the same flower, but the flower only sheltered them. Thank you all. 